How will 3D printing affect the audio world? Jesper in Alborg, Denmark asks about 3D printing and wants to know if it'll become more common in the world, in our world certainly. And how will this affect the hi-fi world or has it already? And for those of you that don't know what 3D printing is, <laughs> where you been hiding lately? I'm sure most of you probably know that this, uh, we're looking at a 3D printer right here. This is a small one that we have. It can do, oh, six and a half. I think that table is, oh, it's maybe a foot. Maybe it's a foot long table and, and it could go about a foot high. We can, you can make some fairly big things in that. So this, if you're on Ohm's Law, we're just looking at a, a big metal box with a print head on the top and a table that goes up and down. So let me tell you about 3D printing. It's, uh, I always think about Jean-Luc Picard in Starship Enterprise when he would go up to the uh, machine and, uh, what do they call it? The replicator. And, you know, Earl Grey, hot. And, and it would do it. Well, we're not at that point yet, but we can create objects seemingly out of thin air. You can design an object in a computer and you put it into a machine like this and over time it creates exactly the object that you built in the computer. I know that uh, our friend Matt, um, uh, 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 Weisfeld, Matt Weisfeld at VPI has been experimenting with making 3D printed tone arms. And I think over time, you're going to see more and more of that in, in audio. Now we, we use the 3D printer for modeling, which I think a lot of people do. And, uh, oh, and by the way, if you don't know how it works, it's actually pretty simple. There's the, the, uh, the print head up here is, is, a, is a hot nozzle, a heated nozzle. And it is capable of going in, in, in basically uh, along what we call the X axis which is kind of left to right, and the Y axis, which is back and forth. Uh, and then the Z axis, in this case, is the table going up and down. And I think I have those right. But anyway, that between X, Y, and Z, you can position that head pretty much anywhere you want. And there's a big spool of plastic material on the back that feeds into that hot head and it just lays layer after layer of hot plastic down uh, onto, in a very precise fashion, onto this table. And over time, we'll build up shapes that are very, well, as complex as you want. And that's how that works. So that's, that's called a 3D printer. And we use it for modeling. So you can see here, if I don't, we, we didn't make the black plastic. I, I'm showing right now um, a, a model of a new front panel that we've been experimenting with for a new design here, which I, I really like. It's got a shaped front. It's got the, the, the famous PS Audio curves on the front, but they're also angled back. And it's really, um, I, I just, I love this. And this whole thing will be a touch screen. And this, you know, this may never see the light of day. I have a room full <laughs> of, of trial and error in industrial designs that we, it's one of the things I love to do. And our industrial design engineer, Bill Aplanel, is in the center of all this. And he and I conspire. And Scott McGowan, my son, he comes in and conspires about this whole thing. But you can see from the back, if you look at it, it's all hollow. Uh, but it's very precise. And we can make three-dimensional models of just about anything we want and they are precise enough to tell whether the screw holes fit, we can do threads, all kinds of things we can do. Will we ever use it to make parts that would find their way into electronics? I, I bet so. It doesn't happen here. It has happened at a few companies, VPI as I mentioned, and I know others, I know they're making furniture custom furniture, because you can use all kinds of material. So yeah, I think someday it will definitely be a part of the high-end audio industry. And 
uh, I've already got our uh, eyes on a, a machine about five times this size. So yeah, we're right in the middle of it. I think you'll see something like that. All right, thanks. Mm -hmm.